Right, so today I'm going to uh, review this, my new rifle. Um, now I bought this from uh, Bob at City Air Weapons when I popped down there the other day. I actually went down there to pick up a different rifle that I will be reviewing either today or tomorrow. Um, and he had these in. And uh, frankly, when he told me how much he's selling these for, I immediately had to buy it. Uh, it's the Remington Air A Cobra. Now, why it's called the Air A Cobra and not just the Air Cobra, I don't know. Maybe it was uh, an Italian that was perhaps given the job a name in it. And he went, they said, what should we call it? And they went, Air A, Co Air a Cobra. And he went, oh, Air A Cobra. Who knows? But anyway, it's not called the Air Cobra. It's called the Air A Cobra. All one word. Uh, branded under the Remington name, um, distributed by SMK, and obviously uh, it is not made by Remington. That is pretty obvious. Uh, likewise, Benjamins are not made by Benjamin. Webleys are not made by Webley. Uh, Stoigers aren't made by Stoigers, and on it goes. So this is actually a, a, a Chinese rifle, I think. Um, but nonetheless, when I tell you how much this is and when I run through how good this rifle is, it's ridiculous. So this gun here with a 3 to 9 by 50 telescopic sight, mounts and a silencer, a single shot tray and a multi-shot magazine, comes in at Bob is selling these at City Air Weapons for under 300 quid and he has assured me that he will be taking a load of these to the British shooting show this year and at the British shooting show he will be selling this rifle package exactly as you see here all the bits for an astonishing frankly 250 quid just think of that 250 quid buys you a multi-shot PCP with a proper wooden stock that's very well made with a telescopic sight and a silencer. 250 quid at the show. It's got to be said, I think Bob's lost his marbles, but there you go. So that's what you can expect. Uh, and if you go there to uh, this weekend or next weekend to pick one of these up, uh, he is selling them for a shade under 300 quid in the shop. As I say, it's a complete package, so it's not just the rifle. You get the whole lot, so you don't really need to buy anything apart from a pump. Or if you're near a gun shop, you don't even need to buy that. Or if you're using it on the range, you use the range's uh, air cylinder. So really, you get everything you need to get you going. And this is the perfect rifle for those air gunners amongst us who perhaps shoot maybe once every two months. Um, basically every now and again they just want to do a bit of plinking in the garden or go down the range or maybe go down where they've got a bit of permission to have a little wander around and a bit of a shot and they use their guns once a month maybe once every two months uh, or it's ideal for someone who's got chickens and has got rats in their garden um, they're not really interested in air gunning they just want something to get rid of the rats this thing at that kind of money for the whole kit is perfect it's also a great gun for someone starting out in the game who isn't sure whether they're going to like air gunning or not and doesn't want to spend an absolute fortune. So they just want to get a feel for the sport, see whether they enjoy it, don't want to spend a load of money. Um, perfect. And also, let's not forget that in the current economic uh, climate, there are a heck of a lot of people that can't afford to splash out £1,000, £800, even £500 or £600 on a beginner's rifle. Um, and this thing's perfect. It's a bit like air gunning in the old days when air gunning was a sport that pretty much anybody could enjoy no matter what their wallet. Um, and I've got to say that I've been shooting this, I've had this a couple of weeks now. I've been a bit slow on doing the review on it because I've been busy. But I'm impressed with this gun. It's a lovely thing. It really is. For the money, it's ridiculous. Yes, it's not a day state, it's not a FX, it's not a, a Brocock, 
but as a workable PCP, um, <laughs> it's just mad what you get for your cash. So let's have a little closer look at it, shall we? So first off, it looks a little bit like, I think it reminds me of the uh, the Virax, the HW100. It's got a similar sort of thumb hole stock design. Um, and the stock also reminds me of the Walther uh, LGUs. Um, so let's have a look at it in more detail. So you get hardwood stock, start at the back end. Hardwood stock, thumb hole stock, the pistol grip. Nice big thumb hole as well. Plenty of room. So whether you've got small hands or massive hands, plenty of room in there. Uh, it's completely ambidextrous. So the um, cheek piece is exactly the same on both sides. There's no palm swell on the pistol grip either. So it is completely ambidextrous. A rubber recoil pad with Remington impressed in the bottom, well raised on the bottom. Sling swivel stud already fitted. Nice little feature on the bottom. It's got the Remington R etched into the bottom as well. It's etched checkering. It's not especially uh, crisp, but there again, it's a thumb hole stock, so you're going you're to have plenty of uh, easy grip on it anyway. Um, but it's, it's okay. It's pretty good, actually, and it's nicely executed. Two-stage trigger, fully adjustable. Yes, it's not match grade, but it's perfectly serviceable. It's not a bad trigger at all. Safety catch is the type that's fitted inside. So back for safe and just push it forwards or off for fire. It's a manual safety catch so you can decide whether you want it on or off or use it at all. Metal trigger guard. In fact, to be fair, there's no plastic at all on this rifle. None at all. Uh, bolt, standard bolt type cocking. So push it up, pull it back to cock it, load a pellet, push it forward, lock it down, and you can lock it out when you want to load the magazine. Nice, chunky uh, action on it. All nicely machined. And a nicely blued or blacked air cylinder. And it is nicely done as well, to be fair. And likewise, a nicely blued or blacked uh, barrel as well it's got a barrel band on it um, and there's like a little rubber buffer inside of there as well so it is sort of semi free floating I guess you'd call it um, 11 mil scope rails and you get this scope comes with it uh, it's a 3 to 9 by 50 uh, non parallax adjustable um, with a couple of mil dots in the side of it uh, it's a one inch tubed scope and in all fairness to be fair it's actually not bad uh, the image is quite clear on it I don't know what the parallax settings are on it um, but I've been shooting this at what about on my outdoor uh, only outdoors at the minute so it's been shot at about 22 yards and in all fairness as long as you don't ramp the mag up too clearly uh, too high at that range uh, the image is nice and clear crisp and uh, certainly usable and it seems fine it's got fairly basic turrets on it in all fairness they're okay it's quite old school really it's quite an old school type scope but it is quite serviceable uh, and i found it absolutely fine to be fair i thought it's okay uh, especially when you think that uh, you get all of this for 250 quid, even low end scopes off eBay are fetching sort of 40 quid with mounts. So to get one included with a rifle that costs 250 quid, frankly, is absolutely astonishing. Pressure gauge, and I like this, this is where this rifle starts to really come good for the money. Pressure gauge is in the bottom of the stock, nice and clear, easy to read. Not at the end of the cylinder, like a lot of air rifles. Like that. A lot. That's a good point on a budget gun. Safety. Nice. So as I say, barrel unshrouded. 
Um, and I'll say this about shrouds on air rifle barrels. They've, I know that they've become very trendy. And I know that they do look good. But 99% of shrouds on air gun barrels actually do bugger all. Uh, and as proof of the pudding, everyone still puts silencers on their rifles. If the shrouds were so good and so effective, you wouldn't need a silencer. But everybody puts a silencer on. They don't really do very much. They're more of a cosmetic exercise. I can only think of possibly two air rifles, uh, both head guns, where the shroud actually is quite effective on its own. Nearly everything else I've shot does need a moderator of some description. Check it again on the front part. And again, it's it's a laser cut and it's, it's not the most grippy, but it looks nice and it's nicely executed. Another good thing, another sling swivel stud ready fitted in the stock so there's no chance of you trying to hash it away as you uh, and split the stock or whatever or put too long a screw in and go into the air cylinder all of these things i have seen being done to air rifles comes already fitted so this gun's already fitted with sling swivels brilliant not only that but you can fit a harris bipod uh, on the front as well really really good nice long air cylinder Fills to 200 bar, and on the end here, nice little feature. Look at that. That is nice. So there's no probes, none of that nonsense. This thing just has a standard Foster fitting, like you find on a lot of high-end air rifles, the Day States, the Brococks, and several others. Makes filling the gun dead easy, because you don't have to have different probes that you're going to lose, whatever. Just pop your pump or your air cylinder straight on there, fill it up. And the other nice thing, a proper decent cap. And there's an O-ring on there as well. Just to keep any crud or crap out of it. Just pushes on and it's a nice tight fit so you're not going to lose it. It comes with a moderator and okay it's lacking in volume. So it is not going to be the quietest moderator in the entire universe. The threads actually finish here on it as well. So it's one of these sort of... Um, backdraft uh, silencers so when you unscrew that the threads are actually here so you can screw on uh, any moderator you want so you could put a hug it on there an a&m custom gunsmiths anything you like a fire out one anything would screw straight on standard unf thread but like i say this it already comes with it it's not the greatest in the world because it's very slender and it's got not got a lot of uh, a lot of volume to it but it does take that uh, that really loud crack that you get with a PCP um, out the equation. Um, and you can shoot it okay out in the field as is, or even in your garden. It's not particularly noisy. Now, I've took this off and put a, uh, a QS, a Webley QS silencer on this thing. A big, big, heavy silencer that's also suitable for uh, 22LR and 17 HMRs and their rifles on here um you can hardly hear the thing the only thing you can hear is the spring at the hammer boing in a way the actual report of the rifle is virtually zero um what else comes with a single shot loading tray which is nice and it comes with a uh, magazine which is pretty much the same as air arms magazines but with a shot counter and you can see the number of shots are on the side as well so when the mag slides in you can still read off uh, how many shots are in the magazine and that basically just pull the bolt back and that just slides in which is nice i like the shot counter on that handy little thing so this thing shoots really well I have to say it's very very nice very nice the bolt whilst I'm not a particularly big fan of these pullback bolt mechanisms for cocking rifles I wasn't that keen on them on the BSA Super 10 um, I wasn't even keen on them on the old uh, Theobans or for that matter the the priest I thought the profit when the profit came out with the side lever, it was a vast improvement over the priest. And the main problem with the priest is that the bolt itself is very short. So it may grab an hold of it and pulling it back a bit, of a bit of a pain. And one thing this has got is a really quite long bolt. So this is actually really easy to pull back. Um, it, you know, it's very simple to cycle. 
and it's a very sweet rifle to cycle as well, it has to be said. Um, so there it is, Remington Air, Air Cobra. Lovely, lovely, lovely thing. For the money, ridiculous. It's a little bit heavy, uh, probably weighs about the same as most Springers, most underlever Springers like an LGU or uh, an Air Arms uh, Pro Sport, that sort of thing, it, it, or any of the Virax really, HW97. So it's not a lightweight uh, PCP. It's a heavy, it is quite a heavy PCP in all fairness. Shot count, I'm not entirely sure, but I reckon about 100 and odd. Um, but I've not shot it and I can't find any figures for it. But from what I've shot through at the minute, I think 100. If you put it, it's 200 bar fill. Um, so I reckon you get at least 100 out of it without any troubles at all. Really nice. And the quality of finish on it is very, very good. Wood to metal fit is nice. You know, it's a nice wood to metal fit on it. It's just a really tidy rifle. Graphics are nice on it. Barrel's nice on it. Woodwork's nice on it. It's got sling swivels. Air gauge underneath instead of out the front. Really, really good quality filler. Bob on. Comes with a moddy. Comes with a scope. All in all... I just cannot believe that this thing is only 250 quid. It seems insane. Like I say, you'd probably pay 40 quid for the scope. Even the cheapest of moddies, 30 quid. Set of sling swivel studs probably cost you a tenner. So, you know, you put the, them parts together and the rifle's next to nothing. It's just, and it just shoots so well. It's, you know, it's just a lovely shooting gun. It's a full size rifle, it's not a child's gun. Um, but for someone who doesn't want to splash a load of cash on his first air rifle, or even someone who wants a knockabout rough air rifle that they're not going to be worried about scratching or about uh, dropping or whatever, this thing's amazing, and the, the cash is just ridiculous. Put it this way, I think you can currently get a Wraith um, from Uttings, or and several other suppliers, for about 300 quid, thereabouts, 350, something like that. So if you were to trot off to the shooting show in February and bought this for 250 quid and bought a Wraith for 350 quid, for 600 quid, you have got yourself a perfectly usable and effective night hunting rig for shooting rabbits and rats. At one time, that was unthinkable. When the Wraiths first came out, the site itself was over 600 quid. And you can now buy a rifle, and, and you get a free telescopic site as well, that you could probably flog for 30 quid on eBay. So for under 600 quid, you could get yourself a Wraith and this air rifle. Yes, you'd have to buy the little adapters to fit on the uh, the Wraiths Picatinny rail thing. But what are them? A couple of quid off eBay, a fiver perhaps. Ridiculous. 600 quid for an air rifle and a wraith or if you're just into day shooting 250 quid so i suggest you do what i did uh, because as, as you know i've got some beautiful air rifles but it's always nice to have a knockabout gun and it's also always nice to see exactly what you can get now for 250 quid Get yourself down to uh, City Air Weapons in Birmingham, if you can. Give Bella, Bob a bell. Give Bob a bell. Give Bob a bell and uh, have a word with him. Book one or whatever. And uh, get yourself to the show for 250 Or if you can't make it to the show, pop in. They're a shade under 300 quid he's selling them for. And they come in... <laughs> the other thing is, well, it's not as if they come in a cheap rubbish box either. They come in a really nice box as well. It's crackers. Absolutely crazy. Lovely, lovely rifle. Really nice. So there it is. The Remington Aero Cobra. Now, as you know, I always do this. I do a quick review like this, and then I'll do another review of me shooting it, and then eventually a review of me hunting with it. Because I am going to stick my... Uh, I'm, because it's winter now, predominantly I night hunt now, so I will be putting my Wraith on this rifle. 
um, at some stage so there will be some night hunting footage as well of me using this um, with a wraith on top of it so uh, yeah what an absolute steal it is absolutely lovely honestly cracking gun for the money you can't go wrong <laughs>